Hola! Welcome back to my channel and another digital plan with me. Today we are going to be planning the month of April. I just showed you January, February, here's a look at March. Um, I've just been having so much fun digital planning. Here are my weeks that we plan, that I've planned for the month of March. And we are going to start the month of April. So here's April. The first thing I do is I like to cover up the, um, the left side of the screen there with just a plain white box that just covers up the things you don't want to see. And now we're going to grab the top border of what I want on my calendar and it's April. So I figured we'd pick this really pretty peach uh, border for the top um, and I'll show you at the end where I get all my stickers from but I'm just gonna measure it to fit perfectly right up here and then it's not long enough so I'm gonna have to find another piece to fit on the right side so you'll see me just um, cropping that and zooming in real close just to get the right measurements yep that looks about right okay so next up we're gonna get some date dots so this kit has some really pretty flower petals for the dates for April and what I like to do I like to copy all of the numbers there's 30 days in April so I copy them all and then I keep them together as a group and I just measure it in the top right hand corner of a calendar box and then um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Monday through Sunday. Again, I do it as a group. I just circle it all, copy and paste it on the calendar, and then you'll see me here measuring it. I usually measure Wednesday since that's the longest name out of the Monday through Sunday. And I will use that white box again to kind of just cover up the <laughs> Sunday through Monday because I like to start my week on a Monday. I like the Monday starts, ends with the Sunday. I like my weekends on the right hand side of the calendar. So um, I'm just doing a quick copy and paste of that white box. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and place this, the days of the week. Now, it's important that when you do an overlay of that white box, if you're gonna cover something up, just remember that you have to click on the arrange button and send it to the back because anything that you lay on top of it the white will always be on top so you got to arrange the white box to go to the back and then I am just simply putting in the days of the week and um, I just love this color combination the peach with the purple and then that little periwinkle blue I guess it is it's just so pretty I think it's so pretty and then once I get that done, now we can add our dates. So I kind of just use the blue dotted line to line it up um, in that right top right corner. So that way it's consistent all the way through. So you'll just see me just grab a group at a time and then line up the, that dotted line with the black line and then it'll all be cohesive. So we're going to fast forward through this part so um, this video is not an hour long. Alright, so there is the month of April. It's looking so good so far. So now let's decorate the left side of our calendar. And I got this cute little Oh How He Loves sticker from um, a faith-based sticker, digital sticker company, super cute. And then I'm just grabbing this embellishment, which I kind of struggled with back and forth. So this whole left side, you'll see at the end, it will look completely different than what I originally planned because sometimes I, the creativity flows and it comes together and it's wonderful. Um, and then other times it's just like, bleh. but 
I went and grabbed um, our Easter picture that I've uh, we took as a family this year and I put that at the sidebar and I love this picture so much we had a great Easter um, my church had a beautiful service uh, our choir sang and Oh, it was just so beautiful and in this kit they have these frames that you could put around your pictures so you'll see me here um, try to pick one and crop it down I finally decide on a purple one and this one comes where you could put three pictures in it but I only need the bottom part so I'm gonna go ahead and just crop this down um, I have a wonderful husband that actually we're celebrating 26 years of marriage. So crazy. Um, he was my best friend since I was 12 years old. I was 12, he was 17. Um, and our two boys, are, my oldest is now 13. I can't believe I have a 13 year old. And my youngest is nine years old. And so we just have, we're so, so blessed. We have a beautiful family. And here I grabbed this little leaf to kind of put in between the oh how he loves and the picture and later on I delete it because I absolutely hate it but um, for the moment you'll see me here just kind of struggling going back and forth through all the digital pictures because I'm telling you it just wasn't it wasn't coming as easily as it normally does um, but you know what you just got to have fun with the process um, of creating that's the whole point of creativity who cares what people think about it like you just this is your time to be as creative as you want to be if you want it to be ugly what you know who cares it's it's your outlet it's your time so you'll see me struggle for a little bit all right so i found this cute little um quote that just sits right underneath our picture i settled on the sun and here we are so we're going to keep on moving. I am now in my March and April um, digital stickers, just trying to see how I can fill the space. And these stickers are from Breezy Organization. They're so cute. I absolutely adore these stickers. And sometimes my issue is I can't decide on which one because I love them all. I think they're all so cute. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my original sticker kit and I love this girl. She's just so sweet. To me, I feel like she's worshiping um, and I just felt like it went really good with oh, how he loves and just springtime and April and I just love it. But you'll see, I struggled. I still struggled with where to put her and um, should I put something else? And so I found this bouquet of flowers surely it will go somewhere but it is not so that goes away and then i go back to my digital easter um march and april digital stickers and i'm just trying to find something to fill that white space i love this beautiful bouquet of flowers and it just wasn't that wasn't it either that wasn't it either and so now I'm gonna try and find something different for the final time. And in my head, as I'm creating this, at this moment, I'm like, I'm gonna try one more thing. If this next flower does not work, then I'm closing my iPad and I'm gonna have to just pick this up another day because it was just getting too frustrating. And April is a busy month for me and my family. So I have a lot of appointments, there's birthdays, there's our anniversary, my work anniversary, my marriage anniversary. So I had a lot of pressure. I put a lot of pressure on myself to kind of get it right, um, which was just silly. You know, when I look back on this footage, I just, I don't know why I put so much pressure on myself. It was unnecessary, but I pick this purple flower, I plop it in there and I hate it. Like, I just, I hate this. I hate the picture. I hate, it wasn't my thing. All right, so I cut out a lot of it, but I took off the picture. I took off the flower and I just went to planning. So here you'll see me just go through my kit and what I'm looking for is a top and bottom border 
that will um, kind of just surround my appointments. And what I like to do is keep my work appointments and meetings and things like that in one color. And then like my DC staff meeting, my chapel, that's all work stuff. And then what you see in pink is normally kind of like what we have going on personally in our lives. So um, yeah, this is just the process I go through. And there's different fonts that you can import into GoodNotes, which is so much fun. And if you want to see which I want to know what fonts I use, I'm happy to sh share that and how to import fonts. That was fun. Um, there's a little learning curve to that. But once you learn how to import fonts into onto your iPad and into GoodNotes, it's so fun and you get to be super creative with the different fonts you use. But this is just the process um, that I go through when I'm planning. So enjoy. So I am at the age where I'm getting um, extra medical appointments. So you'll see me here. I just kind of did a copy and paste of DC staff, but I am going to change that to a colonoscopy appointment. So this is my first year getting that done, probably TMI for some of you, but um, this ended up getting canceled because insurance costs a lot of money and the deductible was too high and I really don't have any issues. So that got canceled, but um, yeah, this kind of just shows you the process and just a copy and paste of the text. You know, there's different ways that you can write in your appointments on your digital calendar. Um, you can handwrite it and I don't mind my handwriting. I just like things to look uniform. So I choose to use text boxes and you can write on the screen um, what you want and it will convert it into a text. So um, this Saturday, I'm going to a widow's banquet with my mom just to support my mom. My dad passed away two years ago and oh gosh, we miss him so much. We love him so, so much. My mom now lives with me and my husband and my two boys and our dog. Um, and she has transitioned so beautifully just moving in with us. So I'm going to go with my mom this weekend to a banquet at um, the church that she attends. So I'm looking forward to that. And then right after that, I have a lunch with my aunties. My mom is one of 10 siblings. So she's got three other sisters, um, including her four in total girls so this Saturday we're going um, to lunch together so that'll be nice we don't normally get together as a family anymore since my dad passed away to be completely honest and um, it's been sad because I'm definitely a people person I love to get together with my family especially but um, things are just not the same so we're just readjusting and finding a new way to live life without my dad who to me was the patriarch of our family, but um, but God is still good and we have a beautiful um, church family and a great circle of friends. So every other Sunday, my husband and I, we volunteer at our church in our kids ministry and it's so much fun, we love it. I host, so I do a welcome, like kind of just checking in all of the students, answering questions for parents, you know, that sort of thing and my husband, teaches uh, the elementary age. He's been a youth pastor for many years. He was a children's pastor for many years. And now that we are at um, our new church, he volunteers every other Sunday um, in, in their kids ministry. And we love it. We love uh, what we do and we just have a lot of fun. All right, so we are moving right along the month of April. I'm still at the top of the month, but I promise you this is gonna go by quicker. But just kind of wanted to walk you through a few things, my first couple of videos, um, recording our, how I 
calendar digitally. So April 4th is our anniversary. So here I use two different fonts. The happy is in one font, anniversary is in a different font. And I pulled a digital sticker, that kind of firework sticker was from a different kit. It was a January kit um, to kind of just show us celebrating that day. It's going to be 26 years that we've been married. It's so crazy. 26 years that we've been married. God has been so good to us. Our testimony is incredible. All the things that God has done in our life. Um, but we also have a few birthdays this month. My nephew, Jake, my nephew, Eli. I'm pretty sure they're both on the 17th. I can't remember, but um, here I kind of stacked Jake and Eli and we'll try to squeeze them into this one text box. But again, I didn't like how this was coming off. I felt like that I had shrunk down the text box, like the decorative one so much that it kind of distorted it and it just didn't look right. So eventually I changed that all together as well. I'm just going to leave that as it is for now. But in the end, you'll see I changed that whole birthday thing completely. So this month, I'm also celebrating my work anniversary. So crazy how time flies. So I am a director at a preschool where I live and I never, ever thought I would be a preschool director. Most of my career has been an executive assistant or personal assistant um, and I never thought I'd be here but God called me to it I said no I turned it down originally didn't want it um, and I just I was disobedient and I couldn't find another job in the field that I wanted in the range that I wanted the pay range that I wanted and so I said okay God if this is what you want me to do then the position has to be available and it you know I had all these things of what I told God if you want me to do this this is what I want and um, some of them he answered and others he didn't but in the end it was a blessing and I will probably uh, put some clips in a different video of this beautiful spacious office that I work in they decorated my office so beautiful one wall is completely see-through like wall it's like a glass wall it's absolutely gorgeous the furnishings everything is just so pretty so anyway it's been it's been a blessing um yep so there you see i have a sleep apnea and a lung doctor appointment that's coming up in april so that's a um, another appointment that i'm putting on there apparently i've got sleep apnea and they found a spot on my right lung they've assured me that it's nothing to be worried about but they got to rule all the things out so the same place that i'm going for um, sleep apnea i'm also going to see the same doctor to take some pictures of my lungs and just make sure it's nothing else that's concerning but i have completely i have a lot of peace about it and i'm not worried about it at all so here i am just messing around because somehow i got a strike through on my font and I don't know how I did that. Half the time you will learn how to navigate through um, just different programs, apps and things like that by mistakes. So mistakes are good sometimes because you find out new ways of doing things. I couldn't figure out how I did the strike through and I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. So instead I just deleted it. So I kind of pulled back and was looking at a full view of the month and I just I don't like it so you'll see that I do change some things around because you know I got to look at this for the next 30 days so I want to make sure that it's something that um, I love and I don't care if anybody else loves it but I have to be able to look at it and love it so on the 28th we have a family day at our church so just jotting that down and um, I'm just not loving the sun on this screen. It's so crazy because I'm here I am like come and plan with me and half the stuff on this calendar for April I just didn't I didn't care for but it ended up coming out good in the end. OK, 
Okay, so I'm wrapping this up with just popping on me and Albert's paydays. As you can see, I changed it up a lot. I just removed some things, put on different stickers. I found a bike, um, just pretty um, stickers and a bulb, stickers, flowers and a bulb there. Um, I just changed it up and I like it so much better. Now I can look at it and be proud of it. Now on to the good stuff. So this is the To Done Kit 6 by Stephanie and Planning to Prosper. I use all of her stickers. All of her sticker kits are incredible. I also use Breezy Organization. You'll see the name up here, Breezy Organization. She has had stickers, digital stickers out for years. You can see um, some are from 2022, some are from 2023, 2024, um, but yeah, they're amazing. You gotta go check her out. She's got this cozy gamer sticker kit. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? This keyboard, I have this exact keyboard in my office. I love it. Yep, super fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on the next one.